Legends, welcome back to another episode of where I test every single vehicle that I can find in Revolt. Alrighty, the vehicle I'm testing today is the first glow vehicle. So it's Aquasonic. Aquasonic is legendary. I love this vehicle. Um, yeah, you can do quite a lot with it. It's um, in terms of you can drive, you know, most of the, the cup levels quite easily with this vehicle. Um, yeah, so it's an amateur class, um, well, amateur rating, and the class is Glow, so it's the first Glow vehicle, so it means it's a diesel, probably. Um, yeah, it's um, speed is very good, its acceleration is good, um, and the weight is balanced, I would say, and it's a front-wheel drive, interestingly enough. I thought it was a rear-wheel drive, but I stand con corrected. So, let's see, comparing it to the previous car we tested in the previous ep episode. So Genghis' car has got more speed and more weight. So this one almost has half the weight of Genghis' car and about double the acceleration. Ooh. Let's find out how it stacks up against the rest of the vehicles in Museum 1. So this is Junior RC mode. Alright. Yeah, it's great. You can see <laughs> glow vehicles just have the advantage, you know. I mean, some of the electric vehicles are pretty quick, I must say. Um, but this one's pretty good compared to the others. Alright. But you see Sprinter XL and Mouse, they, they can conserve, well, Mouse can conserve its, its momentum and its weight. Sprint X Hour has got great acceleration. Much better than this, I believe. So, yeah, let's see if we can hold the lead. Turning is alright. It's quite balanced. It feels a little bit like Vulcan Turbo, but a much more like flat and low down version of it. It does remind me a little bit of Sprint X Hour. Um, styling wise, it's lovely. Feels very good. It doesn't necessarily feel like a front wheel drive because you'd expect it to like understeer or something. But it doesn't. It's, it feels so good. See, look at that. Time it just right. You, can, you don't have to necessarily slow down, but that was obviously off timing. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You do see it understeer there. You can see as soon as the smoke comes out of the tires, it understeers. But it's nice. It's really well balanced. It doesn't feel like it's going to flip out on you. On. Let me just focus here. <laughs> on simulation mode, it does get a little bit sporadic. It's good acceleration, right? You see that immediately back on track. And that's the advantage of the glow vehicles. Alrighty. Very nice to control. You can really tune in those fine movements without feeling it's gonna like whiplash on you. Comment your thoughts below. Do you like the electric vehicles more? The sound of it? vehicles and yeah why what's your opinion don't think we'll hit dust mic but we'll try anyway no, I don't think we'll hit it it's fine I 
Like I said, very good cup vehicle, and we celebrate. There we go. 348.61. Alrighty, so is it the fastest? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it is the fastest. It's the fastest vehicle we've tested so far in Junior RC mode. Woohoo! Aquasonic, you legend. Alrighty, let's see how it does in simulation mode. Will it still be the winner? Hmm. Good start so far. Ooh, it does get a little sporadic. Feels like the back end wants to <laughs> overtake the front around the corners. It's not bad. Understeers a bit. It's still quite stable. Ooh. Unless you do that. See, so there is that point where it just loses grip. Okay, that was lucky. Good acceleration. You see that glow engine. It just it is slow to talk. We just jumped Vulcan, Vulcan Turbo. I love Vulcan, Vulcan Turbo, for sure. Because it doesn't do that. <laughs> Sorry, Vulcan. Oh, no. Just, just keep it easy. There we go. Now you have to re be really careful on how you control the throttle, you know, around the corners and stuff. Ooh. Got lucky there. Quick, you can see it's really quick. And you can dial it in to a degree. To the understeers. You have to slow it quite, you know, a lot down to make it turn, but then you can just floor it. And it does well. Oh boy, nah, I lost it there. I let off the gas too early. So that's what happens with that Aquasonic. As soon as you let off the gas, it kind of loses control. So you have to like really control the, the throttle very well. You have to be back on the throttle immediately. Stick there. Okay. Nice. Come on. A little bit of wheel spin there. Here it is with the engine. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah, you see, there it does that. It's not cool. Not cool when it does that. Come on. So it's usually when you hit a wall and you, you're turning. Keeps turning. It's like when the rear wheels lose grip. It's, yeah. it's quite weird because it's front wheel drive, so it's not supposed to do that, but its weight distribution allows that. It's almost like it's a mid engine vehicle. Okay. Oh, I'm the stick. That's what I want to <laughs> No mouse. No mouse, don't. Oh, that was scary. Oh, come on, no, final lap, come on. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Let's see if we validate it. Oh, yeah, and we celebrate. Alrighty, we lost a little bit of time there on that reverse. Okay, so this is a 335.606. This thing is crazy quick. And it's not quicker than Candy Pebbles. Can you believe it? Wow, so it beat Candy Pebbles in Junior RC mode, but not in simulation mode. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm just going to pause the video there so I can speak. So, um, <laughs> glow, glow engines are so loud. Alrighty, guys, so there you have it. 
um, Aquasonic. Like the video if you liked it, uh, subscribe if you want to support the channel, that would be awesome. And um, yeah, comment your thoughts below on which is which was your favorite vehicle thus far? Did you did you enjoy this vehicle? Um, yeah, <laughs> Bob's fish and chips. I just saw that <laughs> on the the vehicle. Ah, funny. Anyway, but yeah, I hope uh, hope you enjoyed it, and um, see you in in the next one. All the best, guys. Take care. Peace.